When Ye left Cloud9, many wondered how the team would fare without him. It was a bold move from Cloud9 to even make the choice of dropping Ye, but even bolder I think to bring in Jakey, a player who was making a name for himself, but it was at the tier 3 collegiate levels. Whilst they fulfilled different roles, technically Jake is Ye's replacement on C9 as Rooney came in to replace Vanity as the team's IGL. You really are a better replacement than Ye? Time will tell, man. They're pretty big shoes to fill, but Jake just had an unbelievable performance versus NRG to position themselves as probably the best team in NA. So let's dive in and explore the rise of the Bean and the rise of Jakey. We're actually good to start on round 7 on Cloud9's defensive side. The score is 3 all with both teams having a full buy and Jake is currently 2 and 4. C9 also just lost the previous round and their money is really tight for both squads, but Jake is about to go nuclear. On the attacking side of NRG, Victor has an op in hand and C9 need to be very careful with how they can test certain areas of the map so they don't peek into set off. Leaf goes for an updraft to see where the operator is, sees it in mid, and Cloud9 leave mid altogether because of it. But there is a reason for this. NRG on the attack use the Owl Drone from the Silver going towards mid, and Cloud9 make a really good call here. They say, hey, three of us can push B main here. If they're going mid, which it sounds like with the Owl Drone, they're gonna wanna go from mid split to B. So maybe if we just all go B main, we can get a couple of players, win out those fights, maybe even get the spike, or at the very least get some information. And that plan worked perfectly because these players from Cloud9 push up in B main and break the turret which sends NRG hurtling into tree, which is where Jake comes in clutch. As NRG start clumping, the paranoia from Jakey connects onto multiple NRG players, which forces them to back out into this little cubby, and Leaf wastes no time in unleashing those knives. This isn't just a cool play as well, it's a really smart read from Cloud9. Just before this round, both teams recently came off of a timeout, which was called from NRG. Up until that point, NRG were just going for like A and B main executes, all five players running through, and they weren't contesting mid at all. So maybe that's what the timeout from Chet was about. We need to try and fight for mid more. In which case, Cloud9 read this well and said, if they try and go mid, push A and B main, which is something they consistently did through this half and something that worked out really well for Cloud9 here. Round 8 was easy for Cloud9 as it was up against an eco, but now Cloud9 are in round 9, NRG have guns again and try and go for a fast A execute. This is standard stuff that you'd see from an omen, putting down this usual one way smoke which means that you can contest and fight for A main more, but after this initial aggression from NRG, Jakey puts down the second smoke in the A main choke. Pretty standard stuff. After some initial contact and finesse using his second and final flash on KO to try and get into the site, we see a nice little counter attack from the sky and the omen flashing out from switch and retaking that space from a back they don't get a kill and nrg are actually in a five versus four but because of that counter play from the sky and the omen there's no space for those attackers to work with so they have to come up with a clever plan if they want to get in on a so a couple of the players from nrg run over towards the b site and place down their killjoy ultimate to go from what it looks like a standard b execute but you might have noticed there's still two players from nrg over towards a main still who just try and walk up and take that space helping that cloud9 rotated away from a towards b because that's where the killjoy ult is going but cloud9 aren't moving why is that well i've actually noticed that the omen som on nrg actually has his ultimate so they're expecting that this is a fake with the killjoy ult and then the omen would teleport towards a to go for a plant there and cloud9 not falling for the bait here works out wonderfully Jakey gets a little bit lucky, he actually uses his own omen ultimate to teleport towards B, but because it's in the radius of the lockdown, he just decides to cancel it anyway. Leaf stays on A though, and it works out wonderfully. Nice little crossfire, and NRG just walks straight into them. We move on to round 11, and NRG are also a pretty good team, and they had their own great ideas and counter strats, and this one in particular caught Jakey really well. Cloud9 were finding a lot of control now in the extremities. We saw the round where they pushed B main in the eco that we glossed over round 8. Two defenders actually pushed into A main and held it because NRG were not really taking control of it anymore. And in round 11, Jakey tries to do it again. The omen one way, and this time he tries to sneak into wine. This setup for Jakey is pretty clever because most KOs on attack nowadays in the pro scene will do this lineup to check 
and clear A main and wine. If the omen was there, he'd be caught. And because NRG were actually using their KO knives towards B a little bit more, Jakey knows that he can sneak in and he thinks he's in the clear by staying in this spot. Especially when Crashies comes around the corner with an Aldron, but doesn't clear wine. Jakey must have been sat there thinking, they have no idea I'm here. They could have cleared me and they didn't. But then this brilliant combo comes out. Finesse on the KO going through mid uses his ultimate and walks through tree to the A site. The radius of this does catch on to where the omen is so he can't teleport or smoke himself out and crashes who was in a main backs off all the way back towards gelato and ults into wine getting a tag onto jake forcing him out of that corner and allowing some to get the kill jakey was left high and dry it's a nice little combo between three players and the execute comes in smoothly afterwards for nrg as they pick up their fourth round as we swap over to Cloud9's attacking side, they went into halftime with an 8-4 lead. Round 12 had them push A main as a free stack again to wrap around behind NRG who went mid, but what can Cloud9 do on attack? On this side, Jakey's job is made a lot easier because of the Viper that's also on Cloud9's team, and this Viper wall that you typically see that's placed B main. It allows the players from Cloud9 to push up all the way to the choke where they can explode out with the jet. Jakey on the Omen smokes CT initially, and then paranoias across switch and stairs, just after Sky throws out a flash into the main choke. We see the jet smoking the switch, dashing into it, and then getting the kill onto a flash to Crashies. We then see Jakey teleport from the choke into Logs, hugging this right hand wall whilst Leaf clears Market and closes the door. Jakey from this spot then re-smokes CT and then sits in this position by Market Door. It's something we'll see a lot from him. What I like here is that after the door is broken and all of the smokes and walls go down, Jakey goes for a super wide peek against an unsuspecting artist. He gets the kill and at least information on where the last two defenders are playing from. It's a 4 versus 2 in favour of Cloud9, a plan and a ninth round on the board. Round 14 and NRG are forced to save. Nothing too crazy to highlight here, it does go the way of Cloud9, but check out Jakey teleporting up towards this box in mid. It's a nice position because you're not too open from anybody playing in mid. You can smoke off short and hold for any defensive aggression and has the help of the sky to flash him to get into that position in the first place, but also flashing him to get out after he gets the kill in mid. But NRG are not done. They pick up their first full buy on the defensive side after this, and also pick up round 16 and 17. Cloud9 are on an eco, and decide to go for another fast B execute in round 18. Jake first smokes CT, then smokes off market. The jet dashes to hug the right hand wall, and Jakey even TPs right onto the high ground, just outside of the smoke to catch people out. He gets really lucky here as he narrowly avoids the recon dart that was just thrown in from Crashies. The door gets closed and Jakey goes for his second TP towards stairs. The plant does come in from Cloud9, but it's a tough position, especially with the weapons. But there is a reason why we're making a video on Jakey. The first kill he's able to get onto Victor, he dashes onto the site and he gets a kill from behind, even though it's a little bit scrappy. Shortly afterwards, Finesse tries to trade for his teammate, wide peeks out on his own, and just gets domed instantly by Jakey. It's a nice nano swarm by Zelsis just to buy Jake some time that he can reload and reposition himself. But after he hears the Aldron used by the enemy Sova, he goes for the wild play of peeking through the nano swarm to see if he can either catch the silver if he wasn't behind cover, or just get another NRG player that wasn't expecting him to peek for a molly like this. Because of the weapon disadvantage for Cloud9, Jakey does put down a close smoke on stairs to give him something to play around, but it also massively puts off NRG from pushing through stairs. The retake from NRG comes in with an omen flash which does connect onto Jakey, and we can see it from his perspective. He gets the kill nicely onto the player of Som that's peeking out, and then wins the fight against Crashies wall banging him at the end through the box to secure a share of 4k in a full buy from NRG. Look at his reaction. It's unbelievable how well he was able to do here. But now round 19, Cloud9 are just two rounds away from winning this map and this series, and in round 19, things start off awkwardly as Leaf goes down first in B main. NRG are also scrambling to put off this B execute by using their own null command from KO. Cloud9 decide to cut noise here, pretend that they're rotating towards mid and A, and we do see Jakey actually fake a smoke towards mid, trying to sell that fake a little bit more. But unfortunately, it's a little bit late in the day from him, and Finesse has already cleared it and is preparing to flank. A scrappy fight initially comes through into that B main choke, and Jakey finds himself again in his favourite spot by the market door. He smokes it off, but instead of holding that position again, he actually pushes through and catches Finesse that was in the bottom of mid that's now trying to rotate through, taking him by complete surprise. 
Som knows that Jakey likes to play here, he hits him with his own paranoia, and whilst fully blinded, Jakey does manage to TP into cover on logs, but unfortunately Som reads this really well and clears him out on that position. Nevertheless, there's a Viper's Pit on the site, a plant, a good amount of time already wasted, and a 2v2 to Cloud9 win. And it's honestly just nice to see an aggressive omen doing some work here. But this is definitely a case where we're saving the best round till last from Jake. Before I highlight this execute, I've seen pros do this hot peek a couple of times from some, just banging your head on rafters on that A site. It allows you to check the info in that choke without being an open target by peeking wide or jumping normally. So some sees his execute comes in and smokes off A main. Because we haven't highlighted the utility that comes out of J key on an A execute, we first see the smoke towards switch, and then a flash cutting across switch and also the entirety of Jenny. At the same time, Leaf dashes on top of Jenny to clear anybody out. The second smoke does come in a little bit later onto rafters, but I also really wanted to highlight the smoke that Son puts down here to give him something to play around, make it really ratty, and maybe win a couple of fights or isolate some of these duels. Unfortunately though, he gets routed. It's not done yet from NRG though. Ardis still has his Killjoy lockdown, which should clear Cloud9 off of the site at least, but unfortunately for them, Jake has his Omen ultimate again. And he times it perfectly to teleport to safety when the lockdown goes off and then cancels it to return to site. And also because Jakey teleported so far away from everybody else, none of NRG can hear the cancel sound that comes in from Omen. So NRG try and clear the site which they think is now free, and get completely bamboozled that Jakey is still there. He catches Crashies and then Ardis to win out the series. The main thing to highlight at the end of this video is that MCE has managed to do it again. He's found young talent with huge potential and managed to make both Jakey and Rooney sing in this roster. Replacing Ye and Vanity is no easy task, but these guys look super exciting and I'm really excited to see where Cloud9 and where Jakey can go this year. But judging of previous videos that I've done on NRG and Sentinels, they're most likely going to get bodied because every time I make a video about how good a team are, they get absolutely destroyed the next game. But thanks for watching. Check out the video I did on Sentinels' loss to Leviathan and what happened for them to fire their coach. And I'll see you next time. Take care.